Welcome back to Studio 701. It's an exciting time of year for hockey fans. And that's as the Bismarck Bobcats get ready to take the, the ice for the first <laughs> home game this season uh, tomorrow. That's right. Head coach Lane Sedevi and his trusty companion Scratch are here to talk with us about this season. Thank you so much for being here, Coach. Yeah, thanks for having us. So, first of all, how are you and the team dealing with uh, any COVID concerns? Well, it's been... Uh... I mean, it's went on all summer. I mean, there's, um, you know, I think our league protocol was somewhere around 50 pages. I know our our own pro protocol is around uh, like 12 pages long. So, you know, it's just there's there's so many changes. We take temps. Um, everybody that comes to a game will have their temp taken. Just uh, it's to me, it's kind of uh, it's what we've had to do to to be able to play. I mean, you look at last year and. Um, I don't know. It happened so fast. We lost our season so fast. I think anybody, uh, you know, for a lot of my returners coming back, that they're um, they're willing to do whatever it takes to be able to play again. So we're we're trying to do everything that we can. To obviously, the safety of our players, our staff, um, and uh, you know, we're not we're not um, making masks mandatory, but they are strongly recommended. So all of our staff will have them, um, and, and just uh, you know, hand sanitizing stations. Just the the rink had to uh, to to put up sneeze guards everywhere that, uh, you know, there's any food, any beverage, all that sort of stuff. So there's been a ton of modifications and um, a lot of changes, that's for sure. Even Scratch has a mask on. <laughs> we have to point that yeah. out. Yeah. It looks really, really good, too. And, you know, it's a good example for people. Now, what can fans expect here in Bismarck tomorrow? I know there's a lot of excitement. Uh, what will be different than, you know, past games? What will be the same? Well, I think probably the number one thing will probably be capacity. You know, I think that's the, the main thing. And, um, you know, I think as far as on the ice, I mean, it, I don't think there's going to be a lot of difference. I think we've got a good group this year. And, you know, I, we went up, went up to Minot, um, played really well, and um, only got one win. But uh, I thought we outplayed them. But, uh, you know, to me, it's one of our biggest, uh, if you look at our, I guess, our rivalries. I mean, Aberdeen and, and Minot um, are our two biggest rivalries. So tomorrow night should be a lot of fun. And I know you had a long time off, Coach, but what did it feel like to get that win against Minot, against your rival? Well, we had 92 shots on the weekend, and anytime you get 92 shots, um, <laughs> that's a lot. And halfway through the uh, halfway through the second period in Minot, we were down 2 nothing. I was just thinking, I don't know how this is possible, but uh, they found a way to battle back and uh, just felt like, you know, those guys really deserved that, um, that, that extra point and the two points with the way they played. And we're watching video right now of the shootout in overtime where you pulled out the win. Am I saying this right? Correct. I'm saying sports terms? Yes. Um, <laughs> what, what, what was that? You know, that's a pretty exciting ending. What did that feel like? Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's what everybody wants. I mean, that's, you know, when you look past the years, even look to the National Hockey League, what they voted on. Um, you know, was was the three-on-three -three, uh, overtime entertainment before that. And... Um, and then the shootout, you know, I think it's a lot of fun for the fans and we were obviously, um, our goaltender played really well in that, Tommy Aiken, new guy um, for us this year and, and obviously, uh, you know, Tommy Bergslin scored and, and George Granis, what you saw in the video there. Okay. Now, I noticed on your Facebook page, Scratch, you can go ahead and dance and express yourself <laughs> as you feel. Um, <laughs> with the coaches show that's on your Facebook page, um, what will people gain from tuning into that? I think the nice part is, is you know, we, we have weekly segments uh, at the tap in, and you know that's uh, that's with me and, and my new assistant coach Garrett Hendrickson. I had Garrett Roth for for eight years, and uh, he took the head job down in Wichita Falls. So uh, you get that, and then uh, you know I think the, the probably the part that people like the most is not seeing me or maybe my assistant coach, but <laughs> but the players. So that's the neat part is is um, you know they get. Uh, to see the new faces of, of this team and, 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 you know, get to hear them talk. Well, they get to see the players and they get to see, uh, they get to see Scratch here. Can Scratch do a dance or something? Do you have... Uh, I don't know if he can. I don't know if he I mean, he... <laughs> He's trying. Thriller? You, you, you can get up, you know. <laughs> do the Thriller. <laughs> Sorry, we're so mean. Thank you. <laughs> That's fantastic. Scratch, we, Scratch, we appreciate it, man. Thank you for being such a good sport. Yes. Uh, guys, thank you so much for being here this morning. We really do like it uh, when you show up. So uh, if you'd like to watch the Bobcats, they're playing tomorrow. The puck drops at 715 at the VFW building on Washington Street in Bismarck. Thank you so much. Now, keep it here coming up.